Hi everyone and welcome. In the previous couple of videos, I have covered that how we can read 32 bit of floating point data from Morbus TCP device and how we can read 64 bit of floating point data from Morbus TCP device with the help of Node Read. Okay, and in the last video, I have covered that how we can write 32 bit of floating point data into the Morbus TCP device. Okay, now in this video, we are going to use the same function which we have used in the previous video and we are going to create uh, backnet to Morbus converter. Okay, so I have this backnet simulator running in my system. Now I want to convert this backnet simulator data into the Morbus data. So as you can see here, right now my node rate flow is running and it is reading the data of this temperature indoor and it is transferring the data to my Morbus TCP server and I can see the data here. Okay, so it's a floating point value. You can see 21, 20.7, 20 20.5. So here I am getting data from backnet. Okay, but now after reading the data from backnet, I want to convert the data into the holding register and then I want to write the data to my Modbus TCP server. Okay, but uh, uh, writing can be two types. Okay, either I can write floating point data into the LSRF format or I can write the data into the MSRF format. Okay, so that thing we have to take care of and we are converting this 20.7 into the holding register data. Okay, integer data. We are converting 32 bit of floating point value data into two 16 bit holding register data. If you see my server, then here you can see the holding register integer values. Okay, you cannot see the floating point values, but whenever we uh, select like LSRF or MSRF floating point value, you can see the actual value. So how we can do that using the node read? Okay, how we can read the data from backnet uh, IP device and then how we can use our function to convert 32 bit of floating point data into the holding register, appropriate holding register value uh, and then how we can see the actual value in our Modbus client. Okay, Modbus client can be anything. It can be your SCADA, it can be your PLC, it can be your cap server kind of software. Okay, and your Modbus TCP server also can be anything. So if you want to write some set point to your inverter, if you want to write some set point to your PLC, like floating point set point, then you can use the node read to send floating point data to your PLC in the form of this kind of holding register. So we can use this in the industry whenever we want to write a floating point set point to our PLC system or any other system uh, whenever our PLC support mode bus communication. Okay, so let's see. Uh, here is my node red flow which is running right now. You can see here, let me zoom it. Yeah, this is the set of node which is discovering the available devices across my network. Okay, so let me open the debug window. So if I inject this, it will try to send the whois request across the network and my this backnet simulator device will respond to that whois request once it respond i'll get the output in the debug window you can see here device id and the address so you can match the device id with this backnet room simulator 1867817 okay it's match so this node this set of node has sent the whois request across the network and it found one device and I am using this IP address and port number to read data from my backnet device. So you can see 192.168.1.7 and port number is 55103. So I have copied this value and I have used this to my COV node. You can see here I have used this to my COV node. So COV node stands for change of value node. So whenever the value get change of my indoor room temperature, it will read it and it will pass it to the next node and the next node will do the function uh, i mean whatever i have program it will do that and it will convert that data into the holding register data you can see here holding register array okay and the same for this guy called water temperature tag and here also i have used the same ip address 192.168.1.7 colon 55103 okay and here is the tag detail which tag i want to read so how you can find the input type and the backnet id of your tag so if i open the yep software here and uh, if i click on add device back zero add you can see the ip address you can match the ip address 192.168.1.7 colon 55103 okay it is matching so my node read is connected or it can find this device and my yep software can also find this device okay and you can match the ip address and the port number once i click on this device you can see it got changed to room controller simulator so yep software has fetched the name of this device now 
here you can see the tag available for this device you can see analog input 0 1 analog input 2 okay but now we want to read two data temperature indoor and the guy called water temperature so for that we have to click on this analog input 0 you can see temperature indoor okay and if i double click on this you can see the input type is 0 and the backnet id is also 0 so if i open my yep software here and you can see the temperature indoor tag has a uh, backnet id of 0 and uh, instance is also 0 so i have used 00, zero that is why in the uh, node read okay input type is 0 and the backnet id is also 0 now if i open the properties of second uh, uv node you can see input type is 0 and the backnet id is 0 so i have to click on this second tag and here you can see it's a tag for guy called water temperature and you can see the object type is zero so object type is equal to the input type so it's a zero and if you expand the object identifier you can see the instance id is one so that is why i have used one here okay so i hope this thing is clear once it's read the data you can see what it is reading right now it is reading 20.0 21 okay and right now the water temperature is 38 so it is converting that data into this holding register format you can see the value here it is converting that 32 bit of floating point data into the holding register value and it is writing to my modus tcp device you can verify that value here for temperature indoor this value will be available on first two holding register okay and uh, this value will be available on this holding register okay so i hope this thing is clear now we are writing in the lsrf format little indian byte swap format so just a moment yeah okay we are writing or we are converting this floating point data into the lsrf format for both the tag so here I have to select or in the client side, I have to select that in which format I'm going to read the data. So I have selected float LSRF format. You can see here, if I select the MSRF format, then the data will be not readable format. Okay. It will be something else because, because it is reversing the order of holding register while converting that data. So here I have to select LSRF format to read my actual data. Okay. So here I have created code or here I have created a function to publish the same data in the MSRF format. Okay, instead of LSRF format. So let's try that also. So I can, you know, disable this flow, disable selected nodes. I can enable this one, enable selected nodes. I can also disable the LSRF. And here I can enable it. okay enable selected node now i can deploy my flow and once i deploy my flow you will not uh, get the proper value here okay you can see right now we are having the proper value so uh, temperature indoor is 20.5 20.7 okay this is matching and once uh, it passed to the next node it will convert that into the holding register 16 bit of holding register data to holding register data okay now it right now it is converting in the lsrf format because we haven't deployed our flow yet you can see it's lsrf format once i deploy it uh, it will you know reverse the order of holding register and it will be readable in the msrf format so right now if i change to the msrf format you can see it's not in readable format once i deploy my flow you can see it's readable format now if i change to lsrf it will be not readable format okay so this is how you can create your backnet to Morbus converter which can read data from your backnet device and it can convert your data into the Morbus data okay it can be your uh, floating point data or it can be your digital data it can be anything okay but it should not be a string okay i hope you got that dif difference between the lsrf and msrf so if you are writing in the form of lsrf or little indian byte swap then you have to select the lsrf option in your client okay and if you are writing in the form of msrf then you have to select msrf format in your client okay so i hope this thing is clear and uh, yeah in the morbus write node i just have uh, 
I am presetting the multiple register and the starting address is 0 and the quantity is 2. So starting address is 0 and the quantity is 2. So for temperature indoor, I am writing the data on the address 0 and quantity 2. So 0 and 1. And for guy called water temperature, I am writing the data on the holding register. I mean starting address 2. So it will start from here and it will write data into this 2 holding register. Okay, and for Morbus slave, uh, I mean Morbus server, I have just used the TCP connection and the IP address and the port number. So I hope this thing is clear that how you can convert your backnet data to Morbus data using the node read. And also I hope this thing is clear that how you can convert the floating point data into the holding register, I mean 16 bit of two holding register data and how you can publish those data to your Morbus TCP server and how you can read those data in your Modbus TCP client. Okay, so this is a little tricky, but it is very useful in the industry when you have to convert your data or you want you have to set the set point from your node red dashboard. And you can buy this flow in the description of this video. I'll provide the link to buy this flow in the description of this video. You can go there, open that link, and you can buy this flow. And if you still have any question or concern after buying the flow or while creating the flow, just ping me. I'll try to help you. You can ping me on WhatsApp, Telegram, Instagram, anywhere. Okay, so let's meet in the next video. Till then, take care, goodbye, and thank you.